we took that trip. Cozy little uh, colorful story based road trip game. I'm gonna leave the music up because I kind of dig it. <laughs> Alright, we took that trip. Clean up after yourself. Always pick up your mess. No way. This is my van? I can't believe it. You still look wonderful. Um, we're on E. Oh, well, that's a problem. Manual for a tricky van, written by me. Since I'm always broke and I don't have any money to change some old parts of the car, I made this manual to help the future me in case I'm too high or for some reason or for some other reason I can't remember how to get this lovely old car to work. Man, I'm so smarty. Fuel. I've developed some wonderful technologies for this car. It's eco-friendly and does not need gasoline. Any object can be used as such. Keep an eye on the road. There's always something. People are very consumerist and produce a lot of garbage. Steps for fuel. Open the tank. Throw stuff inside. Close the tank. Hit the button to refuel. Oh. It's actually really handy. Battery. When turning off the car, avoid forgetting uh, the radio on, the lights on. This will discharge the battery very quickly. If you do so, you'll have to push the car and bump start it. That is so tiring. Hang on a second. So I shouldn't be running the radio right now. <laughs> Got it. Clutch. Be patient when starting the car. Sometimes it takes time to turn on. Alert. Don't turn the key multiple times. This can break the clutch. If you break it, the first gear will not work, and you'll have to bump start to run the car at second gear. Ah. How the bump start? Push it. Release the handbrake. Get out of the car. Hold the sidebar. This is the sidebar. Yes. Okay. Um, push the car. Push the car until it reaches some velocity. Once it can move by itself, jump inside the car, turn the key, and pray it works. In case it fails, keeps trying. Hot tip, push the car on a flat terrain or preferably downhill to gain speed. Remember that the car must be moving to work and never give up. Remember to use the horn only if needed. 
uh, using it a lot will occur. Uh, sure. Noises. Loud noises. Sometimes this crap gets stuck, so it stays honking all by itself. That's sad. How to fix? Wait until it fixes on its own. In some time, it will get unstuck by itself. Wow. Reminds me of that song, Piece of Shit Car. Interesting. Alright, I dig it. Uh, so, where's my... Where's, where's my fuel? Oh. Oh, okay. So that's where this comes in. I don't know how many I'm supposed to put in, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do all of them. So I dig the aesthetics of this game so far. Pretty colorful. Great like synth music. Shooting stars. Very atmospheric. Only thing I don't like so far is the mouse. It's got some serious float to it. I, it it's I can get used to it, but it's ta it's taken a bit of effort to get used to it. All right, so we plop all that in there. Close the do. Push the button. Nice. So that gave me enough fuel for less than a half a tank. Wonderful. Any other crap floating around here? No, okay. All right, let's see about turning this thing on. Yeah. My van, the road, only my besties are missing. Guys, I'm going to get you. Right? We straight up got a Mr. Fusion. It's great. How's it going, Tony? Um. Cow. Meep, meep. Cow. So we are going to pick up our besties in our beat up VW van. Has a very similar driving experience feel to things like Jalopy, which I enjoyed a lot. You played some Atomic Heart, nice. How do you like it? I haven't had a chance to play that one yet. Well, oh, hang on, hang on, I got shit. Hang on. All right, I'm curious. Hang on. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Okay, so first things first. Garbage to refuel the garbage. Oh, that's tricky right there. I can't see that shit in the grass. Very Bioshock, but not as good. Interesting. I thought it, I thought it would have uh, at least taken some notes and done better. I honestly, I haven't heard much about it since it came out. There was a lot of hype around it before it came out, but it didn't, uh, it didn't really stay on the hype for very long. I'm really excited for Starfield, by the way. 
Like, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm, I'm, I'm tempering my expectations and trying not to get too hyped about it. But at the same time, I really want it to be good. I don't know if this is going to be anything. This is just a rock. This is just a straight up friggin' rock. Alright. Goodbye, rock. I will miss you. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of articles uh, mostly covering the Starfield um, demo that was played during the Xbox Live. But the one that really stood out to me was an interview with probably Todd Howard, I don't remember who, um, basically saying that this is going to be their least buggy release ever. Stirsurfect. Stirsurfect. Nice one, Tony. Stirsurfect. So whether or not it actually is their least buggy game ever, we won't know. But it would be interesting to find out. I'm really hopeful. I'm not pre-ordering, because um, I'm, I'm sick and tired of pre-ordering games that end up bombing on release. But I am keeping an eye on it, and I'm hopeful for its release. Cautiously optimistic, I will say. I can't read that sign. Chances are it won't go on any decent sale. If you want a sale, um, I think Games Planet is currently selling pre-orders for um, like 10 or 20% off, and that's probably the best we're gonna see for quite some time. So, if that's a concern for you, then that might be something to go for. Toothpaste tube. Game Pass does make it free, temporarily. Until they decide to remove it off of Game Pass because it's not worth it anymore. And the uh, X amount of money that you have to spend on Game Pass to begin with. Except for you, Tony. You're special. I've got magic mushrooms. I'm going to keep a magic mushroom. Here. Can I... No. Magic mushroom, I would like to keep you. Nope. I cannot keep the magic mushroom. Okay. Into the fuel box with you. Kablam! We are full on fuel. We are... Juiced up and ready to go. Oh, you mean sale for an actual PC. Well, I can't help you there. Alright, we are, we are road tripping. So far, this game is delightful and chill. Um, but I am curious how long until the next thing happens. Not that I'm being impatient, but uh, I was expecting not to spend too much time on each demo so I can get to all of the demos. I'm assuming those are mile markers, because I've seen one and two. Let's have a... let's check the next one. Purple. Cat. Palm. Tree. Purple monkey dishwasher. A 
Oh man, watching that battery meter in the middle there, watching that battery meter fade to less than 50% just from climbing up a hill. Oh god. Look at that thing struggle. The struggle is real on this bus. You can do it, little thing. I'm curious if uh, taking my... Oh, instant photos. Best quality in town. Best, er, best in town, best quality, free for all. Oh, let's do that. Oh, that's a usage meter, okay. Photos. We're absolutely using the photo booth. <laughs> no homicidal taxi drivers like Route 96? Yeah. No, thank you. No, thank you. Photo. Cheese. Nice. There's not two people in here. Amy, how? Are you here behind me? No, wait, I'm here alone. <laughs> wait, I'm here alone. This is news to me. Hmm. Duh, idiot. It's obviously an old photo, but how did it get here? That's a, that's a fantastic question. Okay. Mysterious photo booth on the side of the road without any other signage or anything telling me what it's about. Ah, uh, I think that's rather suspicious. Meep, meep. And away we go! Alright, we will drive until the next point of interest, I think. Whatever that may be. Not, not, uh, stuff on the side of the road. Uh, next actual point of interest. Now it's raining. Do I have wipers on this thing? Do I need wipers on this thing? I think the answer to both of those is no. I don't have and don't need wipers. So is this going to end up being like a sad, depressing, haunted road trip? Where we are missing our, our ex-lover Amy or whatever, whoever was in that photo? Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, nope. Don't look at the... Nope. I remember when we took this. That party was so much fun. Don't get distracted on the side of the road, bud. That... Everything stop for a second. Next. Next. Alright, we're doing good. I've only used, like, a sixth of the tank. I don't think I need to stop for whatever's gonna be there. Alright, we are on the mile six. I am absolutely driving right. I am driving correctly. There's no lines, so it's not like I can't like swerve across the road or whatever. This thing does not handle well. I'm not swerving anymore. Oh god. <laughs> Dr. D-Dub with a rating party of 10. Hello, Doc and friends. Hello, welcome. Welcome to my little road trip. It is now 2022, according to the sign. We have now entered the desert. Everything's going well, I think. Maybe? 
sun's rising. We can turn off of that. Hello, hi everyone, welcome. You have now condensed from three tabs to one. Nice. <laughs> oh, did you get Pine's Raid then and now you're over here? This is... We Took That Trip. One of the various next, de next fest demos. Uh, it's it's kind of like a, a chill, story-based road trip game. Featuring a, uh, a rather beat-up VW van. And a man who is apparently an owl. On mile marker eight. Ah, rock. The rocks are encroaching on the road. Stop it. Uh, one thing I am noticing is a complete lack of stuff. Like, I'm not seeing any trash or whatever on the side of the road for me to pick up. But that's cool. That's cool. We'll make it for a little while. I suppose. I hope. Hello, Pine. <laughs> Y'all like my air freshener? I wonder why. All right, we're parking. We're parking here. <laughs> yes, no killer rabbits in this game. That is an entirely different game. Pop open my Mr. Fusion. Trippy ball thing? Get in the fuelinator. So the forest had trippy mushrooms, the desert has trippy ball things. I saw shadows. Hmm. Hmm. Quiet. All right. Oh, probably no switching the seats out in this one. Fan. I didn't know we had a fan. Oh shit. <sighs> Alright, looks like we're getting out the push. Ah. Problem. Greater problem. <laughs> uh, game. Uh, don't game. Stop. 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 Game. Quit it. <laughs> I did find a bit of a glitch indeed. Uh, it can't seem to stop trying to push the van. Because um, it, it doesn't seem to let me get out of this mode. And if I go hit escape, and then back in, 
Ex except for the part where I'm stuck in a rock now. Escape and then back in just freaks out and starts going walking random directions. Um, so I don't know how to I don't I don't know how to stop this. There we go. Okay, I have I have stopped it. I think. <laughs> Um, I would say, as far as storing fuel goes, Pine, I haven't found a way to actually put any objects in my van, which is a little weird. Um, so saving those objects for later, I don't think is possible. I've tried putting objects in my van and it just bounces off the side. <laughs> Alright, so let's try this again. Sit. Turn key. Oh, hey. It starts now. Wonderful. Now, how do I get back? And which direction was I going on the road? That thing was on my left. So we just need to keep going that way. Different song. Alright, we're back on the road again. Just had a little bit of a super speed incident. My, my, my superpowers unexpectedly took off, but we're better now. Uh, maybe the fan causes a stall. Let's have some, let's have some breeze going here. Can't roll down the windows. No, fan doesn't appear to do anything. Oh, I see a thing up ahead. There's, there's something. We are on mile mark 10 now. This is good. I did say I was gonna stop as soon as we get to the next point of interest. And I do see the thing up ahead, so we're gonna we're gonna see what that is. It looks like um it looks like a thing. Hydration, thank you, Midnight. Come to think of it, I saw that sign before. And I never actually found the turnoff. So does that mean that there's just no road to turn off? It, yep. There's no road to turn off. It's just a... It's just a thing. Alright, let's, uh, let's park here. And let's see what's out here. There's a person. Hello, a person. What? Oh my, I can't believe my eyes. Amy, is that you? Surprise. Yes, my dear friend, surprise. Straight from the middle of nowhere. Ha <laughs> ha. Unbelievable. I was thinking about you. For some reason, I knew you would be the first. Oh, so good to see you again. Me too. I miss you so much. Aww. 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 Okay, enough, enough. <laughs> ah, you're as funny as always. Oh, hi, Valuna. What a, what a what a lovely little um what a lovely little poemy thing you got there, Bologna. Thank you. Hey, our weekend haven is still pretty cozy. Let's get inside. Lovely. Oh, I'm supposed to get inside. Okay. I, it just it seemed like it just cut to a like a, a cutscene or kind of deal. Yeah, fire. Fire's wonderful. Fire is wonderful. Always gotta test it. Whoa. Oh, 
it's just like the old times. Us sitting here, staying up all night. Just like this, chilling, watching the rain. Yeah, we used to love moments like this. Just unwind and watch our mother nature do its thing. Yeah. Yep, chilling and going over our dreams. That was the best. We were always planning a revolution. How to end inequality and all the social problems. Two bottles of wine later and we would forget about everything. Our whole world was here and it was perfect. Exactly. I wish those moments would never end. Yeah, I can say for myself, from now on, they won't. Oh. Take your time chilling in there. I'll wait for you in the van. Oh, poof. Lovely. Nice soothing rain. Nice chill music. Just, just chilling. How you guys doing tonight? Are you, are you having a good chill? This is a wonderful game. Um, it's very nice and chill. Um, some decent car mechanic, car maintenance mechanics. They definitely gave you a unique vehicle to drive. Um, it's cute. I like it. <laughs> I was asking you guys, how are you guys doing? We're, we're, we're chilling, we're chilling. I am now five games in for our Steam Next Fest. Um, we got another hour or so left. We could try a couple more games. In fact, a shadow gambit that was not not one that I came across. Let me uh, let me put it on the on the searchy list. Shadow gambit, tactical RPG. All right. Tactical RPG like um, Baldur's Gate style. Looks kind of like it. Shadow Gambit the Cursed Crew. Alright. I'll put that on the watch list. Okay. So we have more games and little time to do them. So, I'm going to put up a vote, and we're going to see what to play next. While we, while we chill in the, in the rain. New poll. Alright. Alright. Games. We've got... These are not titles, these are just descriptions. So we've got Undersea Cleanup, Fish and Food, Picture Puzzles, and The Other Fishing Game. We're gonna do uh, I don't know a three-minute poll while we while we chill in the rain here. So get you, get your votes in on which game to play next. Interesting. Yeah, I'll have to watch some of that, Doc. I will I will have to watch some of that because I like the style of it. Definitely got some good art. Oh, 
Oh, the music's done. We're done. We're done chilling with the music. There she is in the car. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. How's it going, Amy? Not gonna, not gonna talk to me. Not even gonna look at me. No, nope. okay. This one. This one. Voluna voted for everything multiple times. Wonderful. Alright, we got uh, another minute or so left on the vote. We're just gonna we're just gonna chill on the, along the road as as that vote goes. Vote early, vote often, exactly. That is absolutely not how voting should work, but you know, some pe some people take that to heart. Oh, you will talk to me, okay. So, here we are, on the road again. How long we haven't done this. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, it feels like it was just yesterday or so. Hmm, that makes sense. Maybe for you, the time has passed differently. Changing the subject. Being here only made me and you remember of when we first met. We used to flirt a lot. Everything was indicating that we were going to hook up. Hmm. Yeah, I remember very well, and I have to confess, I was totally in love with you. I knew it, but you didn't stand a chance with me. I realized it, but uh, why not? You had bad breath. What? Ha, huh, just kidding. But that time was fun, datings and all that stuff. I agree. From almost lovers to become only friends. That's funny. But I think that was the best choice possible. I agree. 287%. 287%. Alright. The vote with 66 votes. Thank you, Voluna. <laughs> For undersea cleanup. <laughs> It wasn't just you, okay. Alright, let's see what the final tally actually was. Let's see what happened here. Howdy, Knight. How you doing? Voluna only voted like 10 times. Alright. View results. So we've got 66 votes for undersea cleanup and 57 votes for picture puzzle. With the whopping 3 and 3 for the fishing games. Apparently fishing games were not very popular. But... We're done with, we took that trip. I have, I have a sinking feeling that this is going to be an afterlife road trip. Because they are definitely speaking in a way that sounds very much like they are not on the same plane of existence. Um, specifically when she said the time is passing differently for him. Um, but yeah, this, this feels very much like an afterlife road trip. And we're going to get some... Uh, post-life memory um, review as we're going on our final trip to the, the afterlife or whatever. At least that's kind of what it feels like to me. But I dig it. Nice little chill road trip game. We took that trip. I'll have to keep an eye on that one. Lovely. Lovely. 